to commit this level you have a lot of ups and downs. And the downs are frustrating, but to have a, a beautiful point on a wild bird, and the birds get up and you shoot it, there's nothing better. I have no idea what I would do if I wasn't hunting birds behind dogs. Um, I love it for the dogs, I, I love the birds. From eating birds to training the dogs year round, I love the woods, I love the conservation. Um, it, it's a full lifestyle experience, I would say. It's my first time upland hunting. Very different than I thought it was going to be. It, I expected flat fields, rolling grass, the stuff you see on TV. And what we got into was thick cover, thick brush, 9 BLC, 10 yards. This is not easy. And it's truly physical. These guys are training almost year round to get these dogs to go find these birds. Nothing really prepares you for the actual hunt in the fact that you have to do it. <laughs> Well, like with anything, when you really commit yourself, every minute of it means a lot more. It's not about killing birds to me. We, we knock the birds down for the dogs. When you have a dog, it's not just you you're taking care of. All of it takes a great amount of commitment. Um, anytime you involve a dog, you're, you're going to have a lot more commitment to it. Um, there's no such thing as a mediocre grouse dog. There are grouse dogs and there aren't grouse dogs. Um, it takes a perfect ready finished dog to properly hunt a grouse. The, the process was, was absolutely rewarding to see your dog, you know, kind of come into what he wants to do because they all want to hunt. Just to be able to hunt with my best friend, <clears throat> it's uh, a lot.